Hi, Tracy here with BibleJournalingMinistries.com and in this video I'm going to share with you how you can turn all of those really fun political flyers that you've been getting lately into an art journal so that you can have a lot of fun with your abundance. That's what we're talking about this month in Momentum, but our abundance of junk mail these days. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so you're gonna need some of your junk mail that um, I have an abundance of. I'm not sure if you have an abundance of it, but as we're talking about abundance this month, and um, as I was looking around, I saw that I had an abundance of political ads and junk mail that I could use. So I thought it would be fun to make a little journal out of these, or start to a little faith art journal. Uh, with all these pieces of junk mail. So that's what I was thinking. So you need junk mail and you re you need paint and a paintbrush. That's really what you need. Now, I will do it with with a just a, you know, a paintbrush as well so that you if you don't have some of the other supplies that I have, well, then you can use just what you have. I will be using some gesso and it's again not required, but you can use it. And um, some paint, I have some of this Jane Davenport paint I picked up on sale in the Charismatic line. This looks like I Love You Pink, Minty Fresh. It's got Look At Me Lilac and Ancient Pages. I just, I actually picked these up on Super Sale, I think on Spellbinders along about a month ago. And I, I accidentally picked up a couple bottles. I thought I was just had one in the cart, but I had a couple of them. So now I'm just using it. So use whatever paint you have, it's totally fine. You might want some bubble wrap or maybe some things to make marks with. You can just pick anything that you have. This is actually belongs underneath a rug. And I usually just use that for mark making. This is bubble wrap that comes in anything that you usually buy. And then I have like a paper clip, but you know, I might use some other things if I find them around, but use what you have. And um, something to cover your desk because this can get pretty messy, so make sure that you have things to cover your desk with. Now later, as I proceed and maybe as I fast forward this video, I might decide to use my gel press. I do love a good gel press. This is a 12 by 12 um, gel press that I will probably use. Um, but first, I'm gonna show you how to do this without the gel press. So let's go ahead and get started with some of this fun stuff here. Let me lay out additional mats and then I also wanted to let you know to keep an eye out in the mail for more junk mail. <laughs> I know when we think of abundance we don't really think of junk mail as abundance but let me tell you I have a lot of it lately in the mail and we will be getting more in the mail because Christmas is coming so a lot of times you get let me just grab this real quick so I can show you you're gonna get like things in the mail uh, like this is in a, a catalog from I think Amazon and you can use the characters in here, but just take a minute to kind of flip through the catalogs when you get them. Cause this one actually came with stickers, which I thought was really cool that it came with stickers. And if the catalogs are of good quality, like um, I know the Tiffany's catalog is a really good quality paper. You can actually use it as a, I guess a junk journal is what a lot of people call it. It's just, uh, you know, things that are junk or reused. And um, you could use it as a junk journal. You could use it as a faith journal and just glue pages together. Now this one is kind of flimsy, so I wouldn't use it for that. Um, but you could use like this part here, which is pretty thick, and just store some of these. Of course, cereal boxes work well as work as well, and those might be ideas. But just look around you to find out what the Lord has provided to you, what you have in abundance. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with some of these pages. Now I like these pages because they're really thick and uh, you know, they're better than just a uh, printer paper. And a lot of times I don't really like to throw things away, um, but you know, sometimes you need to throw them away. <laughs> so I chose to keep these because I thought they would make a really fun journal page. And I'm just coming in with some charismatic and the an ancient pages. And now you can use a paintbrush. So let me just grab a paintbrush so that you guys can see those who don't have like a roller brush, you just come in here and add your paint. Um, and it will create a nice background. And anytime you're doing your painting anyways for your journals, a lot of times you're using, you're, you're putting down something for a background. And um, sometimes you, you keep some of the image in the background so you can see. 
And I think this would be fine to keep in the, in the background as an image. But I'm just gonna throw some more paint down and just kind of cover this page with my brush. And I know it doesn't look like much now, but it'll look like something really great later. So I'm just covering the page just here and there. And this is great if you don't have a roller brush because I know um, some of you guys don't have the roller brushes. That's something that, like this. And um, it, I find the roller brush to be easy to apply the paint, but I wanna make sure that everybody has a shot with whatever supplies they have. So this is just an example of a background page that I would just let dry for a minute before I added like another layer to it. So let me just put that aside. And then I have another one here. This time I'll use a little roller. And maybe this time, since this one has some purple in it, it might be an okay idea to add a little bit purple. Oh, maybe a little bit of this blue as well. And then I'll just take my roller brush or roller and I'll just like move it along the page and just kind of get that paint dispersed. And I have a nice start of a background to a, I call them faith art journals, but sometimes people call them junk journals or any, any word will work as long as you're using it in the way that if you're using it for your prayers or your verses or for worshiping, then I would call that a faith art journal. But some people like to call them other things. So there's that one. I'll let that dry for a minute. Let me grab one of these. Oh, here, this is a little bit thicker, actually, even more thick. And so maybe I'll come in here with this one, a little more of this. Oh, actually, let me show you what it is when you use some gesso. Here's some cheap gesso. This is cheap gesso from Hobby Lobby. And you get it, you can get it on sale for like half off a lot of times. So just be four dollars for the bottle, which is pretty good. And gesso just creates a nice little background for things to stick to. And that's what it was originally created for. So I'll just add some of that gesso to the page, let it dry for a minute. And if I'm gonna be really lazy, I can come in and add another piece to it. Just get that gesso on it. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that looks good. And I know this doesn't look, you know, really good right now, guys, but give it, just give it a minute. Give it a minute. You can see that um, some of my paint chips are coming off from my roller blade, my roller brush, not my roller blade, but my roller brush or roller roller. And I like that when it comes off like that. That's why I really don't clean these because I like to have a page that's kind of grungy sometimes. And I'm just covering that up with the gesso. And then I'm gonna set it aside really quickly. Let me go grab one of the other pages so we can play with that for a little bit. So I can show you as we work together as opposed to when I do the, the rest of this in speed time. I know, um, let's see, I guess I could do some more on the back page. Hmm. I'll just do it on this page and then I'll flip it over and do it on the back page in a bit after it's dry. But maybe I come in with a little bit of this blue now. And again, this one was one we were using with just a paintbrush, a little bit of blue here. I've got a little bit. Um, I think that's really pretty. That's a pretty blue. And then maybe I come in with a little bit of this pink as well. This is a I love you pink. And I can grab some of my cheaper paints as well for those of you guys who have like maybe an apple barrel paint. Uh, those might be something you would want to see as well. So I'll grab one of those in a minute. But all I'm doing is I'm just covering up this page real quick with some of my paint as I start to create a background for a page that I will do in the future. And maybe we can do one together during this as well. So I'm just coming in here and painting my pages. And some of you guys might think, oh, well, that's just a waste of paint. It's actually not because you will be doing this with an art journal anyways. So it's not like I don't have art journals. I have a whole stack of them right next to me that I use. But this video is for, you know, um, realizing, I hope, if you, as you continue to kind of go through our series this month in abundance. If you're a Momentum member, that's what we're talking about. 
I hope that it will help you to see that you have things that are at your disposal that you might have an abundance of that you don't think is worth anything. <laughs> so the whole point of me doing this exercise with you is to help you see that you, you probably have more than what you think. Um, I look at this stuff, I saw a lot of these in the trash um, by the post office box today. And a lot of people just threw them out. And well, I mean, it, a lot, most of the time I would probably just throw it out. But um, as I was thinking about what God's provided, he has provided some of these things to work with today. And so I'm going to use them. All right, let me grab a cheaper paint so that you guys can see uh, something a little bit cheaper, a little cheaper paint. Um, let me grab some different colors I have here. This is a Royal Violet Apple Barrel paint. And maybe a little yellow here, this King's Gold might work. And you can see when I'm doing this, I'm not, I'm not really worried about anything you can see that I haven't really washed my brush I just come in here and I just you know paint away you know with the roller I like the roller because it goes on pretty quick um, but then I might come in with a little bit of yellow which will be really hard to see actually in this because it's a dark background maybe I come in and just add that a little bit all right a little bit of that little yellow here and I'm gonna maybe bring it into the purple a little bit so you can see at this point the only thing I'm doing is just getting paint on the paper this is actually a very uh, therapeutic process for me <laughs> it's actually pretty nice in and fun actually I have a really fun time just doing this uh, let me grab my gel press so that you can see me do a little work in that for some of you guys who might have a gel press. Now I have a lot of fun with the gel press. It's so much fun for me to use. Um, so if you haven't experimented with a gel press before, maybe you'll take some time to do that. Basically, my gel press here is a reusable printing plate. It is like a piece of gel. Uh, they used to show people how to make these with jello <laughs> a long time ago um, but now they actually have them in in plates so let me just kind of wipe my desk off really quick because I don't want this all over every you know sometimes the paint go, gets everywhere and um, I just resurfaced my desk so it would be just like me to get it the paint everywhere on my desk okay so that's dry and let me grab my gel press here take off the front layer to it <laughs> that's just like a protective coating and then I'm gonna grab some more of I think I will grab so whatever I put down first on the gel plate is gonna be on top so what I'll do is I'll just grab a little of this pink here and a little bit of this blue and maybe just kind of just play around with it a little bit maybe a little bit of this parchment paper why not let's just do it let's just have fun with this okay and I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna roll that out like that and just create a nice little background here okay and I can really just grab one of my papers here and actually what's cool about the gel press is I can actually just push it down and actually start getting paint on the other side of this page as well as I press down. And then I can lift that up. You can see uh, really pretty uh, prints and things in the background. I think that is so pretty. Let me try it for you one more time. We'll do it again. <laughs> Look, it left some of the wording there. Some That's funny. Um, so I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm going to come in with a little more paint and we're going to do it again. And I just have, I go really quick and I just have a lot of fun playing with paint. You can see that I don't do a lot of worrying about anything. Come on. And I'm just going to come in here and just add some of this paint. Just get it over here. And you can do a lot of things with a gel plate. I think I've done some tutorials on it at 
54. You can let it dry if you want to. Um, you can also come in and add some, some gesso to it as well. And that will be like a back layer. You can also let the first layer dry before you add the gesso. I just didn't. Okay. Okay. So there's that. All right. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to just push down and just add some more paint to this. And again, guys, it doesn't look like much because we're just reusing paper and getting a base down. So I'm going to do this a lot and then I'll come back and we'll do some more together. Okay. So right now I'm going to show you this one. See, I added that gesso in the background, which made that really lighter. And um, yeah, so far so good. I'm happy with the results. I am going to do a few more of these, let them dry, and then I will be back with you in just a moment. Okay, I am back and I just wanted to kind of show you what I've been up to since since uh, creating all of those pages. So basically what I did was I created a bunch of pages and they just look like this. And then I put them all together, folded them in half and stapled them with my long arm stapler. This is a long arm stapler. And I stapled it right down the middle here. So now I was able to get two journals out of all of that abundance of mail that I had, all those ads that they sent. So now I have this one um, that looks like this. And what's great is these are like perfect to start journaling in. Like I can start my art here and I don't have to worry about the background. I don't have to worry about the pages. It's a great way to use any of your old paint. If you have paint that's been around that you need to use up, this is perfect for that. I did find that I got better results with the gesso on the back first and that really helped colors pop a little bit more. Like this one here doesn't have gesso in the back, but let's say this side has gesso in the back, but this side doesn't. So you can kind of see the difference between that. So you can see that um, I have a lot of pages to start on. Okay, now you might think something like this looks terribly ugly, but I don't. I think it's a great start, it's something you don't have to worry about. Just slap some paint down because here is a final piece that I wanted to show you. And um, this is from the same set of papers that I was here. I actually did try to film this, but the camera lost all the footage. So <laughs> you get this part, sorry. If you do wanna learn how to draw these girls, we did do a class in Momentum and it's super easy to do. So um, I'll just show you this, all the different pages for this one ready to go. And yeah, all these pages, they look like this when they start off, but when you start doing your faith art journaling, and if you don't know what faith art journaling is, I will put a link in there in the description for you so that you can take the free class. You don't have to buy anything. The free class will get you started. Season two of faith art journaling will be starting in January of 2021. And we are doing pre-orders right now if you're interested. And um, so here we have this one here. And I wanted to show you real quickly that you can use your junk mail to create stencils. So all you do is you take a piece of that cardboard junk mail, you get your little handy dandy hole punch here and you just pull, punch, 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 right? And that's how you can create little stencils that allow you to create the little dots here. So this piece of art that I did here was really simple. Again, I just used my new journal. I added some a little paint here for the girl. I used my Posca pens as well as my Artisa pens here. This is the 40 color Artisa pen set to just draw her hair. I did a verse here. This is Jeremiah 33.3. It says, um, call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. And I just did that in her hair. I added a little bit of Posca pen here. This is a Posca pen 3M size. That's what I use to write the scripture. And then I just added a bunch of little dots in her hair like that. Super easy. In the background, I collaged with some collage paper that I had. The collage paper 
I printed out from Faith Inspiration Season 1 and collaged that in the background. The I Have What I Need printable is in your uh, in the shop, obviously, or in Momentum. These are our beautiful words, I think is what they're called. Let me double check for you. Also available in our store. These are called Collage World Words Series 1. And I use that as well. So basically, guys, what I do is I have a bunch of extras <laughs> for things that, you know, maybe in Faith Inspirations I didn't use or maybe in Momentum I didn't use. And I just keep it all near my desk. You can see I have just a lot of things that you know, I still could use, but I don't throw them away because they, they work really well in my faith art journaling. And so that's what this looks like. And I hope that I gave you some ideas on how to use mailers. And if you have other ideas, will you please share them in the comments below? I would love to hear from you on that. So you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.